Hi, welcome back to the Keto's YouTube channel. Today we're going to look at different ways we can troubleshoot if your radius server is not working when you're setting it up. So first thing I usually do, let's say I'm trying to connect some network here that I have set up with our radius server and I enter my username and my password and we'll see that it will fail. So where do we go from here? So the first thing I do is I go to the easy radius logs. Basically, any time there's an authentication that gets here, it'll get to the logs. If it's not getting to the logs, then we can go to the profiles and ensure that we have the right username and password for our IP address. So we, we make sure that we have the right IP address. You can always verify by clicking my IP address and make sure that it's there. Make sure you have the right shared secret and check that it's all configured properly in your uh, network device to be able to connect to the radio server. Um, however, if we go here and we do a get logs and we can see here the error that happened less than a minute ago. So then if I, I go into it, um, I can download the logs I can open them and I can see fail to validate and try the user, uh, unsupported user. So the reason for that is I have checked and tried the, and if you remember when I tried to log in, I was not using an entry the user. So obviously and the said that that didn't work. Another way to also check is we can go here and we can check in event viewer. So we go basically event viewer application and service logs, Microsoft, Windows. And then we go to, uh, if you're using wireless, to wireless land and then operational. And then we can see here, so if I do an F5, we'll see here at 331, we got a failure reason. We can see that there is a failure, that the network is not available. And then we can see here why, and it's saying explicit EAP failure received. So basically we got rejected. And that kind of matches with what Easy Radius was telling us. So uh, in this case, it's just a username and password mistake. We can troubleshoot that one. Another one might be if you're using ID, it has to be PAP. So if you're using MSChat v2, if it's showing up here as MSChat v2, you have to force your machine to use uh, PAP. You can use one of our profiles or something like that. That's just because that's what ID supports. If you're debugging for certificates, which is the most common use case, uh, it might say we don't trust your uh, route, but basically everything is here. So the easiest way is look at the audit logs here. If it's not in the audit logs, that means it's not getting to the radius server and you have to go to your networking device. If it's in the audit logs, it'll probably tell you what to do. And basically this is how simple it is to troubleshoot the setup. Another quick thing is we recommend doing it manually first make sure everything works and then you bring in your Intune or your MDM profile into it just to have less moving parts. So in here you can quickly change it, try a different password, try different things. Once you have it working, you know that the radius is properly connected to your network and it's connecting you. Then you start implementing it in, in the Intune and all those things, pushing those profiles. So that's how you troubleshoot. Thank you for watching and please let us know if you have any questions.